Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the end of November going into December 2022. And we're going to see what's coming in for you guys in love, romance, partnership. If you guys um, enjoy these readings and you want more just like this one, just be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. Leo, I am offering personalized tower readings, video recorded, as well as Etsy message. You can also go to my Etsy shop and purchase a reading there along with my tarot, oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets, okay? All right, so Leo, let's jump right in. Messages for Leo in love. What's going on with Leo, please? One card challenge. We have the three of wands. Some of you guys are having um, to move away from something. You're moving on. There's the energy of waiting for your ships to come in. Now, there could be a particular person or a situation that you've been waiting for and it feels like it's been taking forever okay the number three may be of significance to you guys three weeks three months maybe something has ended um maybe you're giving someone three months three weeks okay um but there's something here about wanting more for yourself wanting change wanting um progress in some way wanting movement action okay wanting to feel desired by someone in the past leo we have the energy of the hermit so you may be on a break, okay? I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles in the verse. It feels like something here um, is dormant, okay? So the Hermit, you may be literally not talking to someone. You may be spending a lot of time by yourself, on your own. There could be a lot of deep, deep contemplation, a lot of deep reflection. This can also be indicating of healing, right? Needing space, going within, um, strengthening your intuition, connecting with the divine okay you may be getting a lot of insight and hidden wisdom knowledge it also feels with the eight of pentacles in the verse something may have happened because someone here wasn't really invested okay someone wasn't willing to change um this could be also willing to commit someone wasn't offering you that commitment okay it feels like you couldn't rely on this person when it came down to it you may have also felt like this person just um they weren't ready to take on that role okay maybe there was like a commitment you offered or even like there was a marriage or something someone wasn't ready for that okay and there's the energy of just not contributing okay in some way energy this could be money matters this could be something regarding um, time Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also got Virgo energy. The current energy here is the Eight of Swords. King of Cups in a verse and the Queen of Cups. Leo, um, I feel like you both really have deep love for each other, but you guys just don't love the same, okay? There could be a big difference in your love languages, how you perceive love, how you give love, how you offer love. It feels like you guys just love very differently, but you both love very deeply. There's deep love. There's a lot of love here. Um, the Eight of Swords makes me feel like someone just overthinks, okay? And that could be why they don't take action in showing you and showing up for you in love because someone overthinks, they're anxious, they're worried, they keep themselves stuck. There could be a lot of self-limiting thoughts, beliefs about their ability to give love. And someone here may be feeling stuck, literally tied up. But it feels like their emotions for you still runs deep. So let's find out more. I don't think that, you know, it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. In the foundation, we have the lovers, we have the two swords in a verse, the nine of wands and the eight of cups. So I definitely get the sense that someone here just walks away when, when things just get tough, right? When things are not easy, when there's challenges, when there's roadblocks, um, it feels like your person just walks away because it's the easier thing to do. And I'm seeing eight of cups. Someone had to walk away from loving you, from showing um, their emotions from you. Someone may have just completely said, um, you know, just became very cold and emotionally unavailable. But I also see that this is someone who still wants to work hard at it. So it's almost like they lead you to believe that they're not interested. But the nine of wands is suggesting something else. So I even get the sense that Leo is this person... Still in your life where there are showing interest, the Nine of Wands could be still desiring you, still feeling um, motivated and wanting some kind of opportunity. Nine of Wands is like they're still wanting to fight for this. They're not giving up completely, even when things are tough and as bad as they are. Two of Swords and the Lovers, there is also something your person is willing to cut out. This could be making the ultimate sacrifice, letting go, cutting ties dropping something completely maybe there was a decision your person had to make and they've been putting it off 
Two of Swords could be literally making a decision between two things, two opportunities, two paths, two people. And with the lovers, it feels like they're making a decision because there's a decision that they have to make regarding you. And it's regarding coming together. This is on your mind. So with the lovers card, I do feel like the connection is really strong. It's divine. This could be like a soul connection of some sort. And your person is being challenged to make a decision about you and them. But something may have to go first, okay? And that could be why three of wands or something about waiting. Let's take a look at the outcome. Let's get three cards for the outcome. We have the four of swords, page of wands, and the seven of pentacles. So, yeah, I definitely get the sense with the four of swords, there's there's a break, right? There's stress. There's anxiety. There's, like, there's a healing energy as well with the four of swords. Someone may need a moment before they can move forward with you there's the energy of uh, give me give me a moment let me find peace of mind let me get my life together let me think about this and it feels like it's because someone just doesn't know how to move forward right now with you page of wands and verse is like they lost direction they're not feeling so inspired and it feels like they need a moment to really think about things long term seven of pentacles what's worth the investment what's not seven of pentacles is like how do i show up how do i show up in a way that's meaningful that's intentional okay Let's jump right in. Let's get some more messages for you guys. If you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know. I appreciate your love and support of my channel and what I do. Of course, if you want a personalized tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. All right, let's take a look at the Three of Wands. That is the challenge. Why is the Three of Wands? There's something about waiting. Why is there that waiting energy? to a cup so it almost makes you feel like there is a situation you're having to wait for okay wait for before you guys can come together so with the two of cups coming out i do feel like there's an opportunity where you and your person will finally come together into union two of cups means like you know the connection is so strong you both deeply love each other but there's something about waiting okay it may not happen right away there could be something here about divine timing or waiting for the opportunity to arise where you guys can come together finally in the past, let's get a sense of that hermit. We have the five of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles and the two of wands. Someone in the past was fairly indecisive. And it feels like it's because of their indecision. They made you feel, Leo, like you weren't important enough. They made you feel, um, five of pentacles, abandoned, as if you weren't good enough. Five of pentacles, you felt left out in the cold. You felt abandoned. You felt neglected. There's the energy of just being alone, even if you were in a relationship with this person. Um, now, the hermit makes you feel like, you know, there's the energy of pressing pause. So if someone wasn't very sure about what they wanted, they questioned the long-term stability of the connection, they questioned if they can give, give you that commitment. There's something here about Putting it on hold because a hermit is like, let me think about it. Let me get back to you. I don't want to make any big decisions. And it feels like that's what happened. Okay. Um, someone here wanted, and I think this is you, you wanted this person's commitment. You wanted this person to show up for you. Eight of Pentacles, show me that you mean it. Right? Don't just say it. Show me. Um, now, give me the energy where things are right now. Again, we have that uh, Eight of Swords. There's a lot of overthinking. Queen of Swords in reverse could definitely be a third party here. The moon could be someone that your person was hiding from you, Leo. It's very possible with the moon and the Queen of Swords in reverse, there could have been something your person didn't tell you or they deceived you into thinking that you were the only person. Um, I definitely get the sense with the moon, there's something about a fear, okay? Or someone is really highly insecure and maybe just not wanting to tell you everything or they're afraid that you're going to find out something here that they hid, Okay. Eight of Swords could be literally just this person driving themselves crazy, anxious, worried, frustrated, um, anxious, you know, about a situation that you're going to find out. So if there is a secret, Leo, your person doesn't want you to know, okay? And they may be freaking out or not communicating with you because there's something they want to keep um, to themselves or, you know, like take it to the grave kind of energy. I also feel like the energy of the wheel is telling me that something is still working behind the scenes and it's in your favor, Leo. So if it feels like things are not really progressing maybe you guys are taking a turn for the worse it does feel like things are moving in the direction um at a higher level okay you may not see how this is all unfolding but it is moving let's get a sense of where things are with your person the lovers the two of swords ten of pentacles in a verse the fool and the justice card so i see a new opportunity coming in and this is something here that may have fallen apart ten of pentacles in verse there's no stability there's no security right now maybe you guys have ended some kind of marriage or long-standing commitment 
there is a decision that your person is making that may have um it feels like they're making cutting out something that may have gotten in the way of them from offering this stability the full card is a new opportunity so it feels like your person is letting go of something finally cutting something out to have a new opportunity with you so there's something about making room for you and them okay if they were distracted if they were focusing on someone else is the energy of letting that go make to make room for you and them right so the full card and the justice card making things right owning up to something they've done taking full accountability there's the energy of i want to do more i want to make it up i want to um right my wrongs i want to give in a reciprocated man i want to make things equal fair and balance okay so there's that energy it could be a libra it could be an aries as well and there is a decision and it feels like this is their decision their decision to finally make and it's regarding having a new opportunity with you and doing the right thing nine of wands eight of cups five of wands in a verse knight of swords in a verse and a hermit I, I get the sense that someone is realizing with the hermit and maybe after a brief pause or some kind of separation or breakup, they realize that they can't keep lying. I feel like they lie to you. They lie to themselves. Um, Five of Wands is like they realize that lies have led to big, big fights, arguing, and it feels like they just want peace. They don't want that in their life. They don't want drama. They don't want to keep attracting that. So there's something here about showing um, showing you Nine of Wands, you know, persevering, dedicating themselves to something here. And again, there's something here that maybe they haven't been telling you, they haven't told you, and it could be regarding their fears of love. Eight of Cups could be that this person has walked away from you because they were afraid to love you. Um, there also could be something they weren't telling you regarding um, someone else, a distraction, something that they lied to you about, okay? Um, the Hermit is, is telling me that your person's realizing something. They had to maybe take a moment, go within and really reflect to see the damage they've caused or the hurt and pain they've caused you in some way, okay? So I get the sense this is why your person wants to make it all up to you. Now, Four of Swords is suggesting that there could be a period of time where there is a weight, okay? There's like um, deep reflection, there's healing in order to move past some kind of really difficult, burdensome ending or situation. Ten of Wands in a verse makes you feel like the worst is over. And once the worst is over, you can let, let it go. Put it behind you. Ten of Wands in a verse, drop it off. Ten of Wands is letting down the burdens, dropping the burdens in some way. Um, I feel like after a break, it does look like... There could be some kind of change coming in. Six of Wands and the King of Wands. Um, if you're interested, you know, I think King of Wands in a verse doesn't, it makes me feel like, Leo, this isn't you taking the action, it's your person. So with the Six of Wands, someone is going to want to have a victory and it does look like it's very possible, but it feels like a break is necessary for a source for your person to figure out the best way on how to move in this new direction with you. Page of Wands in a verse makes you feel like they don't have a plan just yet. But once they take this break for a source, rest, regroup, they're going to figure out what's the best way to come to you. And again, it's about being intentional, right? Seven of Pentacles. They want it to last. They want it to be long term. They want it to go far. And that's the way it's going to be victorious. They, they want to achieve something great with you and they're having to do it the right way. So that is what I'm seeing, Leo. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, you all have a great start to your week and take care and blessings.